Hey guys, this is Omega45, and welcome to episode 6 of my modded Minecraft Let's Play. So, uh, in the last episode, we went to the nether and I set up a turtle, and it's been running the last few days uh, just in order to try and get me the necessary cobalt and arda I need. I finally got 10 more of each for a total of 20 manilium ingots, so I'm gonna cast those right now. That's literally what I've been waiting on the last two days, that's why I haven't had an episode up. Because I wanted to get this done first. So I think I can get two ingots as well. One and two. There we go. Okay, cool. Oops. So I think I might just have enough for that hammer. I'm not sure, but today I think we might work a little bit more on uh, thermal expansion. So, thermal, okay, because I have <clears throat> plenty of redstone to start getting that going. So, I also have 716,000 redstone flux. It's quite a bit. So, let's see, um, redstone furnace, pulverizer, Energetic infuser, what is this? I've never even heard of that. Magnum crystal, okay. And I need another another rack. Okay, I think I should have some left. I've thrown most of it away, so keep your fingers crossed. Oh, and I accidentally lost my turtle. I exited the nether while it was still mining, so it's somewhere down there. I'm just not sure. When when I eventually pump out this lake, I'll find it. But I don't think I have a netherrack, so I'm just going to mine some real quick. The rack is super, super soft, so you can mine through it incredibly quickly. That should be enough. So to make that stuff, I need another brick. Oh, just okay. Small thing. Wait, can I do it in the? Um, let's see. Can I do it in the? No, I can't. Oh well. Okay. Oops. Let me throw it in here. I don't have any coal. I might have actually used it all up. In here. It's probably way more than I need, but oh well. Turn my phone off too. There. Okay. So, destabilized redstone. How do I make that? Um, okay. And then this is used for making snowballs, blitz powder. That's pretty cool. Oh, sweet. That's nice. Wait, is there a way to make glowstone? Ooh, okay, cool. I also really want to get into bees. I might, I might, I, because I have a couple like nether bees. I might do that. So, these are almost enough. Okay, so I need two. So I need a leadstone energy cell. Okay, so I need lead, glass, and a block of redstone. Be able to do that. Lead. Ten copper. There it is. Right. So let's grab that. Okay, now I need a gold ingot, two redstone, piece of gold. Okay, 
Need a one of wait is that steel or iron? Oh no, okay good. <laughs> I was about to say if this if this requires steel I'm gonna have some trouble. in the wrong recipe whoops okay nice I needed some copper yeah okay I should almost be done with this uh, magma crucible cool beans all right so I'm also going to make a portable tank let's just run a copper and get it. what about this one hardened Invar. I should have some invar. Okay. Let's grab four glass. One, two, three, four. Piece of copper. One. <coughs> I really like how there's different tiers of things now. It's awesome. Uh, and then I need invar. Hopefully, I still have some. Um, which I might not. Yes, I do. Okay. Three, four. Cool. One, two, three, four. What about the next one? Reinforced. Oh, that means I need hurting glass. Oh, this is I shall I also need to make an induction smelter. Okay. That'll be one of the next things I make. Um this is a item duct. I need some mudstone energy conduits. Boom. Boom. Okay, let's put this here. I don't know if this will go in, but we'll see. So I want output to be on that side. I want you to output. Okay, I guess that works. Trying to set this side. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wow, that takes a lot. All right. Oh man, this is 400 a tick. Okay. Well, that's why I'm making redstone, so I can get the better conduits. Do I not even have enough to, um, to do this? I mean, it's 700,000, okay. Oh man, it's gonna take forever. All right, well, uh, I guess I'll be back in a little while. All right, guys. So my redstone is all melted up, and if you just shift click with a crescent hammer or pretty much any wrench, it will stick in there. So this is all full. Um, what I think I might do is actually I'm gonna throw some. Oh, I don't have any more netherrack. Ugh. Oh, I can grab one for right now and um, make some lava. Let's see, this is going at 400, that's so fast. And then I can throw it back in here. This one's almost empty. So I used up about 100,000. So I'm gonna make Another tank, and we're gonna get some more redstone so I can keep these guys pumping, and I'll be back. Alrighty, guys, so I'm back. I have done quite a bit in the last few days, as you can probably see. So, um, for starters, I added two more um, magmatic dynamos, and I changed the energy conduits to hardened energy conduits. It is just uh, to do that, you just add a piece of invar and three redstone, and you get. Um, better ones. These transfer 400 redstone flux instead of 80 um, per tick, because there that, that was being a big bottleneck from, uh, especially from the uh, energy cell to the magma crystal and such. So I also added a induction smelter and a pulverizer, um, and right now I am making some uh, liquefacted li li liquefacted coal. Uh, which is a liquid fuel source for this guy. 
and they're actually super super um, efficient um, as you can see it hasn't even gone down yet so oh well it's running on low but trust me they're really awesome um, so that's what this is doing I mean, this is actually done so I'm gonna pick that tank up and grab it I'm just gonna store it up here for right now because I don't need it uh, I actually want to redo this whole setup um, and have this like one big power bank going off to all these machines so I think that's what I'm gonna do um, to make the pulverizer I mean you guys can look all this stuff up but I'll just show you real quick um, oh there's also an aqueous accumulator down here with two water source blocks on either side that are just giving the water for this to make that it's just a servo glass uh, machine frame bucket and tin it's easy enough um, induction smelter is invar copper redstone reception coil that's more like the gold uh, and a bucket and then the pulverizer that's right so far as pulverizer is flint copper the reception coil machine frame and pistons so it's pretty easy to make oh I also made some um, fluid ducts so not the opaque ones but like the real ones these are made with hardened glass to make hardened glass you pulverize iron in the pulverizer you get or not iron uh, obsidian excuse me you pulverize obsidian in here it gives you four powder per one obsidian block and then you put uh, lead and obsidian dust in here and eight obsidian dust and one lead will give you two hardened glass I don't have it actually with me I will show you the recipe real quick there so eight obsidian dust and one lead and they'll give you the hardened glass this is used for actually quite a bit so it's all the uh, like upgraded stuff uh, is used for that so this is kind of what I've been working on the last little while um, and then I've been waiting for this to fill up because if you saw my inventory a few seconds ago I am building a quarry yay so I'm gonna just put these in here real quick and quarry quarries are awesome for those people who don't know I will you'll see in a minute but they're just totally baller I'm really tired of mining by hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this guy. And then I'm going to get to have flood zone energy conduit. Yes. I need a upgraded conduit. Do I have any invar left? I don't think so. Okay. So I'm going to have to make some invar real quick. And it was... Oh, what was it? It was... Hang on, just sent this is how do I make you nickel and iron so I need two iron for every nickel one two where's one two, two. okay I'll make a little bit more than I need all right I'm gonna wait for that to melt real quick and I'll be back all right, so I just grabbed my Invar. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade these. Question mark. Boom. So I have three. That's all I really need for right now. Uh, and then I need to make some chests. So if I can actually figure out what I'm doing here for one second. I thought I had chests. There. Oh, well, there's one. I guess I'll just deal with that for right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Boom. Iron chest. Let's grab. Um, just to make sure I'm doing this right. Gold is just surrounded in and going. And diamond is the weird one. I think it has like glass in it or something. Yeah. One, two, one, one, two, three, four. You know, I'm I'm gonna be fancy and go for the clear chests too. 
So I'm just gonna make one on camera and then I'll go figure out where I'm gonna place this. So you just run it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okie dokie. Let's go figure out where. Oh, there's lots of zombies outside. Okay. Let's grab that. So for right now, I'm just going to put this in standard quarry size because I don't really need that much. I'm just going to test it out for right now. Um, so yeah, that's my kind of plan. Okie dokie. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put hardened there. I'm going to put item ducks there and there this to max this is output and there we go all right 100 mg a tick i don't know i don't know what the conversion rate is between the two so oh this is draining really fast okay well, we're going to see just how far this will go, but I'm, I don't think it's going to get that far. So I will be back when this drains out, probably. Oh, this is going super fast, though. Okay. Well, it was. Okay. Um, go in there. Just, I, I, you need to stop for one second before everything disappears. Uh, I love how it tells you how much of the power is still stored in it. Come on, stop, stop. Wait, do I still need to do this? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so for right now, I just put the uh, the chest next to the quarry, and we'll see how well this does. But this is almost halfway out already. All right, guys. So the quarry just died off, and that's how far it got. Not crazy far, but you know, it's better than nothing. So I'm gonna pick this up. This is everything in mind. I'll probably grab the coal so I can make more look liquefied coal or whatever it is and I will set these back up to charge and that's about it oh I also set up one more thing so how are these doing these are slowly eaten through their lava because it, it takes four redstone flux a tick to keep these all charged up. So, um, yeah, whatever, that doesn't matter. Okay, uh, one, I think that's it. Let's see. I wanna see what the, um, the next tier takes to make. So you have fluid transposure, that's not that hard. Electrum, diamond, that's not that hard. Um, more electrum, more lead. This actually isn't that bad. I might do this real quick. All right, so I need a fluid transposer. There we go. Glass, copper, redstone, suction coil. Okay, let's do this real quick. Boom, should have some reception coils. Yes, I do. So, the, that's gonna go in the middle. This will go on top. That on the there. I think it was two copper and two glass, I believe. Fluid transposer, sweet. So, 
put this on top. I'm gonna do that. So I don't need these. Uh, I'll just grab that one later. Um, let's see how much does this. Oh, it only takes 40, so I can put that there. Then I can do. What's in the bottom? Yellow. I want to make this blue. Then I'm going to grab a redstone block and just chuck it in the magma crystal. And see how that goes. Keep your fingers crossed. I really want this to work. Huzzah! Okay. Let's grab some electrum. I th there's four electrum, four glass, right? Four, and then a diamond. Oops, diamond. Oh, it's hardened glass, that's it. Fluid transposer. Final empty fill uses. Oh, 4,000 mil buckets, that's why. Well, I guess I could use that, but I'll also grab some more. That's why. Check that in there. Let's see how this is done. Yeah, this is. these are so efficient. Oh my god. So much more efficient than any other, any other engine, really. At least it seems like it right now. Uh, okay, perfect. So this is gonna start filling up. Let's see, what else do I need for this? I need three more electrum lead and a conductance coil. I have one. Oh no, I need some more electrum. Okay. I make molten electrum. I need silver and gold. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's throw these in here. Silver, gold. Get those quick. Grab that. Grab two redstone. Um. I need two more lead. How much lead do I have left? Is that it? Tin, tin, aluminum, copper, copper. I have like no lead. Okay. That's something I need, I need to fix soon. Because I need lead. Like that's a super super huge part of all this. All right, let's go grab our electrum. How many do I have? Eight. So I need this. Come on. Do I need three or any more? Three. Back inside. Okay. So let's build this. Boom. This is ten million redstone flux. So this is all, this will also charge. So these two are now one big battery, pretty much, which is pretty cool. So I think that's all I have time for today. What I'm going to try and do between episodes is clean this room up a little bit. I might use another one of these. Um, I might put two of them together and then all these engines running into that uh, or all these dynamos running into that to make one big battery and have this room kind of get cleaned up. Um, put all the machines in one line so it looks pretty. 
but I'm going to figure that one out. So until then, I will see you guys in the next episode. Later.